All right, where is he? Right there. Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Bullfink Gaming. Today, we're gonna be doing another entry point tutorial. And I don't know if you guys saw the last deposit tutorial, but if you did, I hope you guys liked it. And I figured for a while, I'm just gonna do all the tutorials for all the different missions. Um, might take a while for Black Dust to get out because I'm not the best at that one. I don't know if I'm ready to do a tutorial on that just yet, but I'll try if I can. But today we're going to do the financer because I'm not doing it in chronological order. I'm just doing it in order of the missions as you unlock them. So today I'm going to do the... I'm just going to do the stealth mission for today because for the loud mission, all the only difference is that you have to A, start up a helicopter, B, the water there, and C, you need to either use a silent drill, A... Um, a keycard scrambler, which I just realized we don't actually need in stealth, and a or a what's it called? Blowtorch. So that's the only difference. Um, overall, it's the same thing. It's just that Ryan, if it goes loud, he'll go into a panic room, and then you're going to need to use either the keycard scrambler, use the drill. So, well, if you're going to do lab, then it's going to be the loud drill. Uh, four times or the uh, blowtorch once. Um, now, if you're going to try and do stealth, you do not need a keycard scrambler. The only reason I'm bringing it is in case it does go loud. And um, if that happens, then I might as well show you how. But otherwise, if you're planning on just doing the stealth and if it goes loud, you're going to reset or something. All you're going to need is a thief. Or if you're just a thief, then that's fine too. So, I'm bringing a few med kits in case it goes loud. I am bringing a keycard scrambler in case it goes loud. You are going to need a lockpick. Lock pick. And if you have a tracker on you, if you've unlocked a tracker, which you probably haven't, you can take it. It's optional. It's just an easier way to locate Ryan if you're going to do the other thing first. Which, I'm going to show you to do that. Alright, anyway, we are going to get started. If you guys are liking these tutorials, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss another tutorial. And liking and subscribing just helps me out a ton. And if you guys do want to unsubscribe for any reason, then you can. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. So anyway, you are going to want to wait for the mission to start. I feel like every time I say you're going to want to after or before the mission has ever started. So you're going to want to come over here, and you're going to want to crouch down, and just place your bag right there. You're going to want to grab a lockpick, a... actually you don't need the keycard scrambler, and a, um, a tracker if you have it. Uh, if you don't have a tracker, you're just going to need a lockpick. Now, this is actually a perfect spot. You can hostage him. Make sure you hostage all guards that you try and get. Um, be careful, because the more guards you take out here... Um, the more of a chance, if you take out too many guards, you are going to sound the alarm. So you do have to be careful, so don't take, take out as little guards as possible. I recommend trying to do this solo. And this one is actually kind of hard, because part of it's just luck, part of it isn't. But, and the reason it's luck is because it all depends on where the safe is, and where Ryan is when you find him. Because there are a few good spots to take him out. Or you can try and do the extra uh, step and hostage him and take him out. But that's harder. I personally just knock him unconscious and take him out that way. But if you did get lucky and a guard was there and you take their disguise, you are going to want to walk around the building till you find a power box like this. And then you want to rewire the power box. And the reason you need to rewire this is because everything is alarmed. And if you... Um, if you try and walk in when the before the power box is disabled, the alarms are going to sound, and that is not good. So now it it doesn't really matter where you come in. I personally like coming in through here. Um, if you have your tracker on you, you are probably going to want to come and just 
track Ryan Ross. Uh, like I said, you probably don't unless you have like a friend. If you are a hacker, you can start a hack right here. Uh, the computer is put in different locations depending on how many times you've done the mission. Actually, I don't think it's just how many times. I think it's just randomized. So you're not going to find it right where I find it here. Uh, it could be upstairs. It could be in one of the rooms. I don't really know where it spawns the entire time. So, if you're going to try and go in the comments and be like, where's the safe? I Or the computer? Like, where do they all spawn? I don't know. <laughs> but, since it looks like nobody recognizes when this is going, you can have that going in the background while you tear down the photographs or remove them. Now, the reason you want to do this is because you don't want to take out Ryan first, because they will notice eventually that he's gone and sound the alarm. And apparently, for some reason, nobody notices an open safe with a hard drive missing. So, yeah, that's kind of weird, but... Uh, is there one over here? Nope. But, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of weird, and so you're going to want to try and get the, uh, whatchamacallit, the safe location first. Um, but if you haven't found it in time, you can get the intel on the safe code and the location if you are a hacker, and you can just go up there and get it. And the reason, and the code is good because if you aren't a thief for some reason, which, like I said, I would highly, highly recommend you are a thief, then you are going to want to, uh, I'll just go out the other way. Then you are going to want to get that because it's going to give you the safe location, which is, uh, which is really nice because, yeah, it's a safe location. And B, you get the, um, say, where you get the vault combination code. And that makes it to where if you're not a thief, then you can use the crack the vault thing. Plus, you are going, plus you can do it faster. So even if you are a thief and, want, and you're going to do this anyway, as long as you have the code, you'll be able to crack it faster. And the reason you want to interrogate the, uh, the employee when you get your, well, not an employee, the guard, if you can, that it's because you can get an easier way. It, they might give you, there's a chance they'll give you the location or the uh, code combination. Uh, in that case, as you saw before, we didn't get it, but that's okay. Now, I'm going to lure him over here just to be a bit safer. Make sure no guards come in. And then we can knock them unconscious. Like I said, you can take the extra... Per you can take the extra risk and try and hostage them and take them out instead. But that's overall harder to do and there's much higher of a chance that you're going to get spotted. So anyway, you just want to come back out here and here you are. Now, because this video is so short... Uh, yeah, it's only been eight minutes. <laughs> it's really short. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you an Easter egg, and I'll show you loud, because why not? So there is an Easter egg for Ryan Ross that you can do. Um, I'm going to be showing that to you now when entry point loads. Um, sorry if you hear anything in the background. Um, uh, my parents are going in and out of a sliding glass door every now and then, so you can, so I apologize if you can hear that. Um, but anyway, you just want to do basically the same thing. If you want this Easter egg, just do the same way that I just showed you. Take your lockpick and your tracker, if you have one, come up here, and in this case we got sort of unlucky, and I mean, it wasn't sort of unlucky, it was just unlucky, period. And we did not get the, uh, the guard over there. But something you can do... Uh, you don't need it. Well, it's not something you can do. It's something... It's optional. Um, the disguise is optional and you don't need it. 
but you don't need a disguise in order to rewire this power box. I just got it first because it was there and it was easiest to get. But like I said, you can do this entire thing without a disguise. It's just a lot harder because of all the guards. Speaking of which, I don't know where they all went. Uh, there are no good areas to get a place right now. So this is going to take a bit more time unless... Aw, oh, or not. I was going to try and lure him over here and get him that way. Here we go. And take you over here. And interrogate you. Um, we got the safe combination. So, like I said, you can get a few... Um, you can get a few things from interrogating them, which is why if you get it here, take them down here, this is a safe area to interrogate them. And you might get the extra thing. Now, only problem with this Easter egg is you aren't going to be getting no kills. So if you're trying to get this Easter egg without no kills, that's not going to happen, sadly. But yeah, you're just not going to be able to do that. And because I can, I'm going to just complete this whole thing again by ripping down all the photographs first, like I said before. Uh, hide from these guys. Uh, nope, nothing in here. And... Now we gotta go try and rip down all the photographs to try and find it. Uh, one here, and I'm not gonna do the computers because that's extra time that we really don't need to do. Just because there aren't many photographs, it's just if you, this is one of your first times playing it or you just don't know where all the things are, then you're gonna want to try and get it that way and do that. Um, I think we got unlucky and got it in this portion again. Um, maybe I forgot one. I still don't know where all the photographs are, but I just know where most of them are. Um, come in here. And, oh, there's not a photograph in here. That's weird. What I find weird is that <laughs> Ryan has a whole separate room just for him to sleep. He has to go outside to sleep. To get into his bedroom to sleep. It's kind of odd to me. Um, uh, nothing in here. Oh, this one. Yep. Use the safe combination. As you can see, if you did do the combination from the deposit, you're going to see that this is a lot harder to do. Or, it's going to take a lot longer to do without the, uh too many people there. It's going to be harder to do without all of the... whatchamacallit? Oh, without the combination. <laughs> I just forgot right there. I don't know what, it, what went through me. Um, so now we just got to wait for Ryan to get into a good spot, because right here, there are way too many things that can see him. He's by a ton of glass. People outside can see him. Overall, even if there's nobody in this room, don't take him out here, because... That's, this is the biggest room, most chance of him getting spotted while you're either hostaging or knocking out or even killing. Uh, but if you do kill him, you're not going to get this easter egg. So just be aware of that. You do need to knock him out. I don't know where he's going right now. Hopefully it's into one of the rooms. It is. That is perfect. Wait for the door to close. That's not good. Um, yeah, that's not very good. Can you leave, sir? Thank you. Now we carry him, and this is where the Easter egg comes in. So, instead of taking him out with you, there is a little area, this is the wrong way, that is not good. There's a little area over here 
where you can throw things off the edge. And if you throw Ryan off, you get this funny dialogue from Rose. <laughs> so this is just a little Easter egg. And it's basically because she was like, oh, hey, you knocked him unconscious. When he wakes back up, we can still interrogate him. And then you throw him off a building. So that's the Easter egg. And now we're just going to do this loud. <clears throat> and you can get a disguise. It's, it's optional. If you're doing this loud, you really don't need it. Just find out where the panic room is, which is the thing with the big metal door. And if you can see it, break in through there and cut Ryan off when he tries to get there. Because he will run in there and then the door will close and you don't want to take the extra time with the SWAT coming in trying to use, trying to either use the blowtorch or the, um, either the blowtorch or the, whatchamacallit. Oh, wait. Oh, guess we are getting a disguise here. Completely forgot that they went up there. And yes, I just didn't interrogate them, because why not? Well, I mean, not why not, I just... It was a bad spot. People could have seen through the door, sort of. So, it's just panic room in a windowed area. Um... Yes, it is. Now, how's the best way to get up here? Probably just through this area. Yeah. Alright, where is he? Right there. Alright, and you can't hostage him, so don't try and do that. Um... Yeah, this is what are going to come in. Uh, I'm pretty sure for all these other missions, you actually can't, um, you can't, um, what should we call it? I keep forgetting these things. Uh, you can't hostage him on these rounds, uh, when it goes loud. So just keep that in mind, you aren't going to get, I mean, you weren't going to get it anyway, since this is loud, but you're not going to get no kills. Um, let's open that up. But, yeah. Um, so if he did get in the panic room, it, you could have used the, uh, the keycard scrambler, and it would have set off what's called a time lock on there, and it's going to take 30 seconds for it to open up, and you can get in. But, just take out Ryan. He does have a raven. Uh, which is actually the best. Okay, what is with these AIs? You're just <laughs> dodging all of my bullets right now. How does that work? And yeah, this is just to show how slow cracking the safe is without the combination. It does take a while. Ow. Do you really have to do that? You can stop that. It's not nice. It hurts. Uh, no room inventory. There we go. I accidentally turned off the music. I forgot how to how I did that. <laughs> there we go. So now, like I said, you got to start up the helicopter, and this is the longest and probably hardest part of it all, just because you have to wait here for the while the SWAT attack you. Ouch! That hurts. And for some reason, in my opinion, the SWAT here do a lot more damage than they did in the deposit. <laughs> Even though this seems like an, like an easier mission overall. So if you want to grab your equipment bag, then you can. Um, but you got to make sure no SWAT make it over to the helicopter or else they'll stop it and you'll have to start it again. But... Yeah. You guys just want to wait for this. Oh, that's weird. It's so fast that now my laser points don't even go through. They just keep coming once you take out so many, or maybe after so long, I don't know. More SWAT will come in, and they'll just keep coming in through the top. Um. Why are you not done? Ah. 
yeah, like I said, things do a, things seem to do a lot more damage when you're on the financer than when you're on the deposit. Ah, I'm in the floor. <laughs> I don't have very good aim, so a lot of you guys are probably better at me than loud. Just because I can barely aim. <laughs> but you know it's going to get fast when these are going to kind of disappear and you're going to kind of see the outline of it going really fast. That's how you know you're almost there. More police. Great. What is happening here? Get up. Fight me like a man. But yeah, these are going to slowly disappear. And once they're practically gone, like they are now, then it's going to say, Heli is ready. And then you're going to be able to step in like that. And then you're going to be able to step in. And you don't need Ryan when you either knock him unconscious or kill him. Actually, no, I think you do need him when you're unconscious. But you don't actually need to bring him with you when you kill him. So, yeah, that's it for the financer. Um, next video, we are going to... Let me just get in there so I can show you guys. We are going to do the black site, which is one of the harder missions. It's probably easier for one person. Um, by now, depending on what level you are, you might even be able to get a hybrid class. Like how I'm an infiltrator. Because I went from the thief all the way up and around to hacker. And the reason I didn't go here is because you can only get this if you are a hacker. Since it's only for speed. But I am going to use my point to come over to here. I'm on concealed holsters. Uh, done. Alright. So... Next up, we are going to be doing the Black Site, which, like I said, is one of the harder missions. Um, the order of all the missions, if you guys are wondering, is the Freelancer, which is the tutorial, the Deposit, the Financer, the Black Site, the Withdrawal. Actually, no, it's the Withdrawal next that we're doing, not the Black Site. It's the Deposit, Financer, Withdrawal, yeah, the Black Site, the Lake House, the Scientist, the SCRS, and Black Dusk. At least I'm pretty sure. I get the Lake House and the Scientist mixed up. They're both hard. I actually have very rarely done stealth on them. Like the Lake House, I have absolutely no idea of the layout. Um, first time I ever did it, I beat it first try and it was on loud. So I never figured out how to do it stealth. So it might take me a bit to get a tutorial out on the lake house just because I need to learn the layout and how to do it since I've pretty much never done it before. The only time I've done it stealth is with a friend and he carried me on it most of the way because he's done it stealth before. Um, I think the SCRS is a fun one, honestly. It's hard, but it's fun. And then Black Dusk, it's really, really hard, especially if it goes loud because of the lockdown. Um, so, when it comes to the Black Dusk, um, it is a whole lot different from Stealth, but I'm not going to be able to show you loud, because I'm not a loud character. I don't have, like, the armor speed from an engineer. I don't have the extra weapon damage from the, um, the mercenary. Overall, my character is not meant for loud. It's only meant for Stealth. The only reason I'm showing you loud on these ones, like the deposit and the financer and everything, is because they're much easier than Black Dusk. And Bla Stealth on Black Dusk is much different from Stealth on everything else. So be ready for that. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this tutorial. Like I said, if you guys want to see more of this stuff then make sure to like and subscribe to show me that you guys like this. 
uh, hit the notification bell so you don't miss another tutorial because I'm going to be, like I said, I'm going to be uploading the entire entry point mission. And even, if you guys really want me to, the expansions. Which I'll probably do anyway, now that I think about it. Um, and then there's the kill house, which I can also show you, but that's the training ground. And then PvP Deathmatch, I've never actually played it. And um, Iron Man, you can read the rules. Play each mission in timeline order. So you'd go um, Black Sight, Fighting Azure, Deposit, Lake House, Withdrawal, Scientist, SDRS, then Black Dusk. Instead of the way that they have it, because it's not actually in chronological order. Each time you complete a mission on stealth, guards get more attentive. So their suspicion meter will go up even faster. Each time you complete a mission loud, enemies get tougher and deal more damage. So every time you every time you complete a mission on loud, the next time you do it, things are going to do more damage than normal. Um, and then when you die, the run's over. So even if you get on, say, black site and die, the round's over. You go all if you want to complete it you got to go all the way back to black site and do the whole thing over again you only get one life doing all of it so it's really hard um i've never actually done iron man before the first i've ever gotten is black site and then that went loud because like i said i'm not very good at it compared to other things um but yeah that's it for today guys um oh i forgot to tell you but I am going to try and work on a schedule. So I'm going to try, and emphasis on try, I might not be able to do this every time. But every week, I'm going to try and upload on a Wednesday, and a on a Sunday, and a Wednesday. Um, at, v at the very, very least, Sunday. Um, but like I said, I might not stay on schedule because of things. that It might take too long for me to edit. It might things might come up uh but yeah that's it for today's video guys looking forward to see you all on wednesday